Welcome back to my Project 13. As most of you know by now, I recently purchased the Asus Zenfone 2. I have now been using this for a few days. It's been my daily driver for the last two. Right off the bat, I want to let everybody know out there that Asus has scored on making a device that is really user-friendly. Even for beginners, this would not be a frustrating device to get to know how to use. Very easy, very fun, you're going to love it. I've uploaded some videos already on this device, an unboxing, camera, a little bit about battery, and a little video on MP4 video playback so you can check out the visuals on a movie. And I'm going to tell you that 1080p is stunning. Check them out. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment, especially if it's thumbs down, so I know what you didn't like about the video and I can keep on working on my reviews. And again, thanks everybody out there for checking my channel out. Please subscribe if you haven't and enjoy. Two areas, really quick, really briefly, that I want to cover that make this device simple and easy. Press and hold on the main page here brings up a page called Manage Home. It gives you these little icons. Apps, widgets, edit pages, wallpapers, icon packs, scroll effects, themes, preferences, system settings, which is also right there. But just another way of getting into that area. Press and hold. I love that animation. Check this out again. One more time. Well, it won't be the last time. And more. In this little area, there's an area for feedback and help. So you can be in touch with Asus and let them know if you need something or if you just want to tell them you love this device. Encourage us takes you into an area where you can give them a one star, two star, three, four, five, and leave a reason why. Font lets you create the fonts that you want, large or small, the style, and you can change the color of the font. So very nice. Let's check out scroll effects. Check this out. You got all these different... So whatever you like, you can change that. And see how fluid that is? Very sharp fluid. That screen is vivid. It's beautiful. Press and hold that again. Let's bring that up again. Told you it wouldn't be the last time. Let's say you wanted another page or you wanted to delete a page on your main home pages. Tap that guy and there's all your pages. There's my home page and you can add or you can press and hold and move up and delete. Save or replace. I like usually five pages. I don't like any more than that. Some of you out there may want more than that, but this is an area where to do that. Takes you into your app widget drawer. If you want a different icon packs, you can go into there. There's already some preloaded icon packs. I'm using I'm using Stealth. And you can actually go in there and it'll take you, you can well, there they are. Down at the bottom here, it'll take you into the place where so you can get some more if you don't like what's already on here preloaded. So basically, this page, Manage Home, allows the user to customize and simplify their experience on the Asus Zenfone 2, and I love that. This is what makes it really simple, especially for a newbie who hasn't used a smartphone. It's coming from a flip phone, but, um, but yet has that high-end feel, but yet very simplified material, fluid, sleek, it's just fun all around, man. You're going to really love what Asus has done by adding this for the user. The other area is the quick start menu. Now I'm going to take you up to this little button right here, which is the edit for the quick start menu. Because in here it shows you everything that's on that quick start menu. You can check all of those and those will all be on that area or you can uncheck and you can move whatever you want to be like first in line or last or in the middle. As you can see how they're organized is how I have them organized and that's by moving that up and down and choosing the ones that are checked that are going to be here. This is how I have it set up. This is how I like it. And so... If you own this phone out there and you're wondering how to edit that, that's where you go. That's what you do to check or uncheck and to move up and down in, into the desired position that you want in the quick start menu. Press and hold and move around. 
very simple, very easy, and then you tell it that you want to save it. So that way it actually saves it on that menu. Let's go back there. I have on my menu Audio Wizard, which allows you to change a little bit of the bass or the treble sound that comes out of the speaker if I'm watching movies or listening to music or if I'm doing a recording. You got a screenshot. So basically you tap whatever is on your main page that you were on or let's say you're on the web and there's a picture or, or a document you want to do a screenshot. You hit that and it'll take you to that area and there you go. So let's pretend there was a document there or something on a web page you wanted to take a snapshot, a screenshot of. That's what you would you would hit that and it would have automatically gone to that page you were on and took an, taken a screenshot of it. Better slow down. I'm talking too fast. You got flashlight, camera. You got my wireless auto rotate sound. That's for your volumes. And you got this one hand mode. Now, this is supposed to make it easier that if this device is too large and you want to simplify the experience of not having to use both hands but just one hand or your thumb or whatever, it'll make that smaller for that screen there, smaller for you. But you know what? The reason I got a 5.5 inch phone is to use a 5.5 inch phone. If I wanted a smaller phone, I would have purchased one. So this is something I won't be using, I don't like, but some of you out there may like this. But one hand mode for me, I think I'm going to get rid of that out of my quick start menu. So it shouldn't even be there. It's taking up space. You would hit this little guy right here that would enlarge that back to normal. Let's go back there again. You got your data, you got your smart saving. So you would go in there and you can set up the settings as far as how you wanted to save battery life. And vivid mode. Well, what that is really is a area where you can touch and change the saturations of the screen. So you got reading, balance, vivid, customized. So basically, if it's in reading, it's going to make the screen more a little yellowish tintish, so it doesn't. It's not so bright on the eyeballs. But I like it in vivid mode, especially because when I'm watching movies, I like it to be nice and sharp. So, but basically, there's an area to go into settings. Well, let's go there now, just to show you. And we'll go to display. We'll go all the way down to screen color mode. And this is where you would change the temperature saturations for whether you want it to be cooler or warmer. I got it on cooler. I like it vivid. But here's customize. And when you bring it customize, it allows you to do the hue and saturations down here to your own liking. This is already kind of a preset, the way Asus has already put that together themselves, but here it's gonna let you be a little more detailed in the hues and saturations. Again, vivid, reading, and balance. And that little guy right there is to get it back to default. But I like vivid, so I'm gonna put it back on vivid and go back out. So I covered a couple little extra things there that I wasn't even going to talk about. Quick start menu. Very simple, very easy. Doesn't get any easier than that. Manage home. Customize your device to your liking. Wallpaper, scroll effects, whatever. Simple. Simple self-explanatory stuff that makes this device super, super fun. So again, I covered a couple areas there that I hope will help the user out there who has this device get to know their device better. Or if you're thinking of purchasing this device, um, you know what? It's going to be worth the $200 or the $299 or the $349, whatever it is that you want. The 2 gig, the 5 inch or the 4 gig, 5.5 or the 2 gig, 5.5, 1.8 gigahertz, 2.3 gigahertz. I think Asus has a few of these few different variants so be careful what you order out there i've known of a couple of reviewers who actually ordered their devices and got the wrong one so be specific in reading all the details when looking up this device so you're going to get the right one but i'm going to tell you this device this asus zenfone 2 is a very fun device no regrets i'm going to continue using it i'm going to continue making some videos so hopefully you continue watching Again, leave a thumbs up, a thumbs down. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. 
I hope I didn't miss anything. My Project 13. God bless and peace.